Hey everyone, welcome to the Zenoftech, I'm Daniel, and this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is the best smartphone that you can currently get. It has the best display on any smartphone, the best camera, the best design, at least in my opinion. I mean, look at how awesome this thing looks. A huge 3600 million bars battery, and it's also waterproof. And I've been testing this for the past week, and this is my first video covering the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. My first hands-on video. This is my unboxing and my first impressions. Enjoy. Okay, so in terms of the box, this has got to be one of the coolest looking smartphone boxes ever. I mean, take a look at this. This is the iPhone 6s box and it looks amazing. This is the OnePlus 2 box, which looks actually epic, red and white. And the Samsung Galaxy S7 box, which also looks epic. These three are the best looking smartphone boxes ever and let me know in the comment section down below by the way which one of these do you prefer so on the front we get this really nice s7 edge logo with silver and blue lettering 32 gigabytes capacity black onyx and then on the back we get a listing of all the specs and the famous seal which tells you that you can only use this with a european sim card since this is the european model and there's actually a tab here so let's remove the sticker oh no it looks it looks horrible now but yeah let me just get my big old murder knife and cut the seal open lift up the box oh and this this is actually a magnetic, which is really, really cool. Good job, Samsung. And there we go, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge in all of its glory. And oh my god, look at how awesome this thing looks. So let's put it to the side for just one second and see what else we get inside. So the first thing that we get in the box is this booklet. And inside that, we get a Simijack tool, which looks pretty cool. And you can also attach this to your keychain. And then we get some manuals, the quick start guide, which shows you all the buttons, how to add a micro SD card, a SIM, and so on. Then we also get a warranty and safety guide and oh, what's what's this? Regional lock? Thought I got this unlocked. Oh, so apparently if you use a SIM card from a different region when activating your phone, your phone will be locked and you will have to take it to the nearest Samsung service center. What? Seriously, Samsung. Next up, we have this blue or black case, which includes the headphones among the two earbuds. And these are the same headphones that we've seen with previous Samsung devices, so nothing too special. Then we also get a charging cable, still a USB to micro USB instead of the newer USB Type-C standard. Power adapter, which also supports quick charging, and then take a look at this. We also get a micro USB to USB adapter, so you can connect this to an iPhone and transfer data, or connect a controller, a USB drive, and so on. This guy tells you everything, actually. And that's basically it. This is everything you get inside a box. So let's remove the plastic foil covering the S7, and whoa, you gotta love that noise. And there you go. The edge has been strapped naked, and it's now booting. Okay, so I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge for the past week now, and this is what I think so far. First off, in terms of the design, well, the design. This thing looks insane. Curved edges on both sides, actually. So yeah, the back is also curved now. And because of that curved back, it also feels insanely good in the hand. So I've held a lot of phones in my hand, but this one, this one actually feels the best. Also, even though it's a 5.5 inches display, this thing has a pretty small form factor. It's smaller than the OnePlus 2, and it's not that much of a difference between this and a 4.7 inch iPhone success. Then the microSD card support has also returned, which is also pretty great. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this. Do you use a microSD card in your phone? Let me know. And now just take a look at the side, how thin this thing is. Even the buttons are razor sharp, so overall, in terms of the design, this is, in my opinion, the best looking phone of all time. Let me know in the comment section down below again, what do you guys think when it comes to the design? Love it? Hate it? Which phone looks the best, in your opinion? Then the display. Well, the display is also mind-blowing. It's a Quad HD resolution display coming in at 534 ppi. And since it's an AMOLED display, well, you probably know that the colors are incredibly vibrant if you're into that sort of stuff. And now we also get an always-on mode, so even if your phone is locked, you'll have the time or the calendar on the screen at all times. So no need to unlock the phone anymore. Speaking of unlocking the phone, the fingerprint reader has been greatly improved. Just take a look at how fast it unlocks now. And then the cameras, the cameras are just incredible. The resolution has dropped to 12 megapixels from 16, but it's not actually a bad thing since now we have a much better low light performance. And among with that f1.7 aperture, this is the best smartphone in terms of that low light photography. Also, in terms of the performance, mine's the European model, so it comes with the Exynos 8890, among with four gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, 
these are some insane specs and the experience has been overall fluid definitely the fastest for a samsung device but definitely not the fastest for an android device we still have the occasional touch with lag here and there nothing too major though and the battery life well that 3600 million parts battery even though it's huge i did manage to kill it in half a day of heavy usage and by heavy usage i mean really 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 heavy usage and testing but yeah more about the battery life in my full review once i get to do some more in-depth testing so yeah definitely stay tuned for that so in the end amazing design amazing display amazing cameras and now it's also waterproof the only thing I can complain about is the touch with lag. Fortunately, it still hasn't been completely fixed yet, hopefully in a future update or with the S8 or S9. But other than that, overall, this is an amazing phone and the iPhone 7 is going to be its main competitor, but that one only comes out in September. So yeah, we still have a long time to wait. And until then, until the iPhone 7 and until the new Nexuses come out, this is going to be the best 2016 flagship smartphone. Best display, best design, in my opinion, best cameras, definitely. And yeah, it's also waterproof now, microSD card, a huge battery, and what else could you ask for in a phone? So yeah, really impressed with the S7 Edge so far. But I'll definitely have a lot more videos covering the Samsung Galaxy S7, so definitely stay tuned for those, including my in-depth review. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, if you want to see those videos as soon as they come out. Also feel free to give this video a huge like if you have enjoyed it, and also let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of the Samsung Galaxy S7 so far? Let me know. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications on my channel on both desktop and mobile on mobile by simply clicking that bell icon next to my channel so that you're notified as soon as I upload the brand new epic video. Because yeah, a lot of videos covering the S7 are coming soon, so definitely stay tuned for those. But thank you all for watching this video. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.